Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and today's lesson is going to be using Minitab Express to generate descriptive statistics. So when you open Minitab Express, you're going to see three areas. This first area is your navigator, and it simply keeps a running list of all of the tests or all of the things that you've done. And if you need to move between them, you can simply highlight them, and they will magically appear here in this area B, which is your output window. So any commands or tests that you've run in Minitab, the outcome is going to um, be uh, visible here. And it has this export feature up here, which will give you the choice of exporting this information here as a PDF file. Um, and then certainly last but not least this area C is where B got its information and this is where you enter your data remember one variable per column right? and this first grayed out row is reserved for variable name right? there are three ways that we can get data into Minitab Express you can simply enter your values into a column you can open an existing Minitab file, or you can import a data file from Excel. That's what I'm going to do this morning. Always remember, one variable per column and only variable name in the first grayed out row. So here I am in Minitab Express, and I'm going to get my data. So I'm going to come up to the menu ribbon, and I'm going to select File. And what I want to do is I want to open a worksheet. And I'm going to look for this worksheet on my computer. So I'm going to hit Browse. I happen to know that this file is on my desktop. You'll notice that my desktop appears empty. That's because right down here it says Minitab Worksheets. Well, I don't have any worksheets on my desktop, but what I do have is I have some Excel files. So change that to Excel, and they pop up, and then you simply select the one that you want. So I'm going to use Tour de France data, and then I say Open. So you can see that Minitab has taken the data from my Excel file, and I now have one variable per column. And this data happened to have the year, the winning time, the distance, the speed, and the winning margin. And it's all properly formatted and ready for me to begin my analysis. So I want to run descriptive statistics. So I'm going to come over to my menu bar, and I'm going to select statistics. And now Minitab gives you this huge list of statistics that it can uh, perform for you. But what we want to do is we want to select describe. So it's in this summary statistics menu, and I'm going to select describe. And it's going to let me do two things. It's going to let me either simply display my descriptive statistics, um, or it's going to let me do column statistics. And in this case, we're simply going to take the easy way out. So I'm going to select Describe, and I want descriptive statistics. And now what you're going to get is you can get this menu bar. And you'll see that it has, Minitab has said, according to this worksheet, you have five different variables that you can work on and I'm going to use winning time so I'm simply going to select that and then hit the over so it basically just takes it from there to there the other thing I could have done is I simply could have double clicked you'll see where it says all data are in one column if I wanted to run descriptive statistics on more than one of these variables I would simply say data are more in more than one column and it would have let me select multiple columns but let's keep it simple for this morning All right so now I want to look at statistics and this is the list of what it will generate for me and I think I want the mean standard deviation the variance it'll give me the range you'll see this min q1 median q3 and max your five number summary for a box plot um, let's see if there's a mode, and I don't care about N um, or N missing, so I'm going to uncheck those. 
and I also have the ch option for this display and the display will give me a histogram a dot plot and a box plot of the variable that I selected to analyze but I think for now we'll just look at some summary statistics so I've got everything checked that I want I have the right variable and now I'm gonna hit OK so now in your output window what mini tab is done in the blink of an eye literally is for the variable winning time it's calculated all of those statistics that I selected from the menu so you'll see here in mode right there's an asterisk so mini tab uses an asterisk to mean missing and what that tells us is there's no mode and where it says N for mode this would tell us the number of modes that corresponds to zero so if you ever see an asterisk in mini tab it means that something is missing and so ladies and gentlemen that is how you generate descriptive statistics using mini tab express as always I hope that you found this useful and thanks so much for watching